Concrete Repeat. Today is the to Mix 5 and it's summer, it's hot outside. And today I'm showing you a little recipe that if you want something sweet and sugary and you don't feel like baking and heating up your house with the oven or going to the grocery store, you can use this recipe for a summer treat. Because it only requires a microwave and a few ingredients. So let's get started. What you're going to need is some flour. I'm using Robin Hood brand, but it really doesn't matter. And I also like the idea of my food and not being bleached, so I'm using unbleached flour. Or you're also going to need some sugar. I'm using white sugar, but it doesn't really matter. I haven't actually tried cane sugar or brown sugar or anything like that. So if you're trying that, let me know in the comments below if it worked. You're also going to need some cocoa. I'm using a no-name brand, but again, it doesn't really matter. Baking soda. This is actually more than you need, so you only need a wee little bit. You need some milk, bleh, milk, milk, milk. Um, and yes, I'm in Canada, and we have milk in bags. What we do is we take one of these bags, plonk it into this special milk pitcher container. We cut off one of the corners, and we pour it like that. But yeah, you need some milk, some veggie oil. I'm using basil, sunflower, canola, but it really doesn't matter. You can use any kind of vegetable oil you wish. You're also gonna need some vanilla. We make our own from vanilla beans and vodka, but it doesn't matter. Again, you can also just go to the store and get your own. Um, you're going to need some measuring tools. You're going to need uh, one tablespoon and a quarter teaspoon and one of these measuring cups. You're also going to need some chocolate chips. I'm using President's Choice, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm not just using chocolate chips. I'm using chocolate chunks. They're really yummy. And of course you're going to need a mug and a spoon because this recipe is called mug cake. It's cake in a mug, more specifically chocolate cake. Um, and you're going to use a spoon to mix it all together because you make it in the mug itself and microwave it for a few minutes. So let's get started. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take four tablespoons, so four of these, of flour. likely your hands will be a bit dirty because when you take uh, a tablespoon of this you're going to want to take one of your fingers and even it off so you're probably going to have to wash one of your hands after that so then you're going to take your sugar and uh, you're going to need three tablespoons it's extremely sugary it's unbelievable but it's a recipe it's the recipe I'm going to put it in the description below so that you don't have to watch the entire video again to make it yourself amazing amounts of sugar. Okay, that one you probably won't have to wash your hands off. And then you're going to need two of these, ouch, um, of cocoa. Might be a good idea to even it off with one of your fingers again. I'm getting stuff everywhere, but that's fine. I'll wash my pinky off. Blech, okay. Um, <laughs> forgetting my recipe. Um, then you're gonna need this little bitty thing. A quarter teaspoon of the baking soda. Okay. Take this, even it off. Dump that in. Nice as rice. And then I'm gonna wash my pinky off again. And then you have to mix it up. It's all the dry ingredients, so you're going to mix it up first. The dry ingredients, not including the chocolate chips. Make sure you get right to the bottom, because a lot of stuff in that likes to sit and camp out down there. So, um, Just make sure that you get everything in there. I'm going to go ahead and spoon this up. That way you don't have to watch like a full minute of me just mixing and not saying anything. So I'm going to speed it up right now. Wow. <laughs> I'm great at this. So once you're done mixing the dry ingredients, um, try not to do what I did and get this stuff 
everywhere. <laughs> I'm great at this. Um, but if you do spill a bit, it doesn't really matter. But, uh, <laughs> but now you're going to put in the uh, wet ingredients. You're going to need 4 tablespoons of milk. So now you're going to use a measuring cup because it's easier. If I could just find tablespoons, that would be great. Here we go, 4 tablespoons. So nice and easy. One second, I'll just clear out some of the stuff. Some of this. This is how we pour milk in bags. There we go. Nice four tablespoons. Oh, that was actually really perfect. <laughs> okay, then you're just going to pour that in. It's going to look a little weird, but it's the recipe. Okay, so then, yes, I'm referring to my recipe a lot. I don't know it by heart. You're going to take two tablespoons of veggie oil. So this stuff. too much, but that's fine. Yeah. Burp, burp, burp. Pour that in. It's going to look weird. Whoa, that looks really weird. <laughs> it's going to look weird again, but that's fine. Dude, look how weird this looks. Look how weird. Oh my god. So now what you're going to need is some vanilla. Again, we make our own, and it has a really complicated way to open it. Give me a second. Here we go. It's very hard. Okay. So now you're just going to pour over the mug a quarter table, a quarter teaspoon, sorry. Put that in. Da, 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 da. Put the cap back on. Do that thing. Alright. And now Gotta add, no, no you don't, no you don't. Don't add the chocolate chunks yet. You gotta mix it again. Whoa, this is weird. Okay, it's gonna be really hard to mix. So I'm gonna speed it up because it's gonna take me five minutes to mix. And so, um, I probably won't, but you know. But, <sighs> gotta make sure you get at the bottom again, so I'm gonna speed it up right now. Um, so I think you can lick this spoon if you want because there's no egg in it, not raw egg at least. Um, so you can lick the spoon if you want. I will. Mm -mm. Should I? I'm gonna do this. Um, it is actually really good. But now, you can put the spoon aside. And now, I believe we can add the chocolate chunks. Chips, chunks, whatever you're using. So you can take as many as you want. Let's say four. I'm going to use six. I like six. It's my favorite number. Okay, I'm just going to plonk those in because it's delicious. And I'm putting them all in one spot. Why am I doing that? Okay. And now, you're just going to put it all in the microwave for 1 minute and 30 seconds. Okay, so, oh, and when it's in the microwave, it is going to erupt a little bit, but it will go back down, back down so don't be alarmed. Um, but once I was making this recipe and I did have it full out erupt out of the mug, so if that does happen, it means that you've done something wrong in the mixing or measuring. And so you're going to do that for one minute and 30 seconds. Okay, so I have a little towel here that I'm going to use to take this thing out, that way I don't burn my hand off. You should always use a towel like this when you're taking out the hot mug, because otherwise you're going to burn your hand pretty badly and it would hurt. So, I'm just going to put this towel to the side, and uh, 
Now I'm going to open this. As you can see, there are some little candy eyeballs and lips in here. No funny thing. Now, I'm doing a funny thing here. It's a joke based on a game series that I'm that I like. I've only played like the first game and I will be playing it on my channel. But if you are familiar with the Five Nights at Freddy's game series, I really like those games. But I hope you can see the eyes, because now if you do this, you can say that you have made Carl the Cup Cake. Cake in a cup. Chica's Cupcake. Ha ha ha. It's Carl the Cupcake and he's adorable. His real icing is pink, but whatever. Play on words. Funny. Ha ha. So now you're just going to wait for this to cool for a little bit. And these should kind of melt to the thing, but not like completely disintegrate. You'll still be able to see the eyes, but they won't come off easily, so you're going to have to spoon them out and eat them, which is sad, but still. You can take a picture of it and send it to your friends and family and share this joke that's completely horrible. And yeah, I'm just going to wait for this to cool, so I'll see you guys when this is cooled down. Okay. So I have our little Carl Cupcake mug cake thing. So there's the cuteness. Now you're probably going to want a different spoon because this one's covered in gook to eat this with. And I think I'm going to try some of this. Turned out good. So let me know how yours turned out in the comment section below. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to smash your face into that like button and hit subscribe to become a creeper peep, which is automatically full of awesomeness. And leave a comment in the comment section down below for something that I should do next video. But I am planning to do a collab with somebody next video and the mystery person is yet to be revealed. So, I will see all you dudes next week. Goodbye!